The severe weather that rolled through early this morning left a lot of tree damage across the area. 1011's Ryan Swanigan has been out tracking it all and joins us live with more. Ryan. Yeah, Danny, we've been following the severe weather all throughout the night here in the 1011 Weather Shield as these storms move towards and through Lancaster County. A couple hours ago now is when uh, things finally uh, wrapped up, but what you're currently looking at is a large tree that's down across all of 16th Street. Uh, this is at 16th and Euclid, um, just north of Bryan West Hospital. There's also a vehicle that's <laughs> that's ended up on top of the tree, presumably because it's dark due to the numerous power outages that we had earlier this morning. Uh, and so whoever was driving southbound on 16th didn't see this whole mess in front of them until it was too late and they ended up on top of the tree. No injuries reported with this, by the way, they're okay. And uh, the uh, folks who uh, were the owners of this vehicle and another vehicle here are just kind of walking around, checking out the damage. Um, LES was out here working to restore power. They've been working to restore power all around the city, getting these branches removed and clearing the road. Uh, and they have a lot of work to do across the city. Some of the video you're seeing is the damage from other areas around town, including uh, the neighborhood around Sheridan Elementary, areas around Lincoln Southeast High School and 46th and High. They had a lot of tree damage in those areas. So there is a lot of cleanup on the way for the capital city this morning. Um, and we're gonna continue to uh, show you video of that as the morning progresses. Uh, as right now they're working on getting the vehicle off of this tree that's down across 16th at Euclid here in the near south neighborhood by Brian West Hospital. And uh, Danny will have more on the areas impacted and an update on the power outage situation for Lincoln and Lancaster County and the surrounding areas as well. Back to you. Yeah, 1011's Ryan Swanigan has been tracking this weather throughout the night as well. He was doing cut-ins earlier, so thank you so much for your coverage.